Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Welcome, Matt Adams, alongside uh, Billy Kratzer and Billy Kevin Kistner. Got it done at the Wyndham Championship, and along the way, he broke a streak of not getting it done when he was in playoffs. He certainly did today. When he spoke to the press, he told him exactly what he was thinking. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a heck of a week, and uh, to be honest, coming down with three or four holes to go, I really didn't think I had a chance to win. I, I wasn't watching the boards all day, but when I birdied 16, I looked up and I saw I was only one back, and I knew that uh, 17 was a birdie hole, and, and then if you could hit a good drive on 18, you could have a chance. So uh, it's a crazy way to, to break the, the no wins and playoff streak, but uh, it, it, was a, it was a fun week and an awesome, awesome week put on by everyone, everyone here in Greensboro. Yeah, you know, every time you went out here, it's hard, and you never know when it's going to happen again. So you got to cherish every time. And, and uh, this year has been uh, somewhat of a struggle for me. I kind of started the year with a playoff loss and then struggled throughout the spring and, and started to find some form here late in, in, in the summer and rounding into form going into playoffs. So to cap off the season with a win and, and head, up, head to the FedEx Cup playoffs, moving up the list and having a chance to win the, the FedEx Cup championship is just an awesome week. You know, I was pretty calm all day. I was actually a little more amped up early on than coming down the stretch, which you, that's what's crazy about humans and, and pressure. You never know when you're going to be feeling it or how you're going to react. So uh, when I got off to a pretty good start, I was feeling great and, and uh, you know, feeling some heat, which, which is what we love. And then, you know, I didn't really think I had a chance to win with four or five holes to go. So I, I wasn't, uh, wasn't feeling that pressure. And then, you know, getting into the playoff and, and all that was going on, it, you didn't really have time to think about the pressure. You're, you're watching golf, trying to figure out what was going on. All these guys had putts to, to make birdie there on 18, and I knew that uh, I had a pretty good shot at making my putt. It was one of those putts you, you dream about having three, three and a half, four feet, you know, right edge and, and just get it going. So I, I wasn't too consumed with the pressure on my putt. With Golf Week, we have Adam Schupack. So what do you think this does for your Ryder Cup chances? <laughs> there we go. I said, how many Ryder Cup questions are we going to have? Uh, who knows, man? I've never been picked before, so I'm not going to go out there and uh, jump on a limb and say that I'm going to get picked this year. Uh, I love Stricker. He's a great friend and great guy, and he'll do what's best for the team and the country. And uh, I would love more than anything to represent our country and, and be a part of that team. Uh, I need to go play well in these playoffs and continue to show great form. But you felt a win would be pretty critical this time of year, right? Yeah, I mentioned it yesterday. I felt like I needed to win this week and next, or at least win this week and play well in the next few. So um, my game's rounding into form. I, I, I'm looking forward to the playoffs, and, and we'll, we'll just see how the cards play out. So Kiz sent this tweet out, ending the regular season with my first playoff emoji trophy. But the, my favorite part is this ain't a hobby. <laughs> no, it is not. I mean, that's, that's, that's kids. I mean, that is directly to the point with some humor. What did you think about the performance of Kevin Kistner this week to end up through that massive playoff as the victor? You know, I was a little worried about kids going into the final round uh, simply because he finished off yesterday with bogeys at 17 and 18. So, you know, going into the final round, you're kind of thinking, you know, maybe there's a little uh, deflated attitude. But uh, he said he got out there. He was a little amped up, felt the pressure, got it going. And once he sticks his nose in the fight, uh, he's going to stay there. He's not going to go away. And he knows the meaning of playing well at this time of year. Uh, not only for the Ryder Cup, but for the FedEx Cup playoffs. you got three huge tournaments going forward. We've heard players, even if, we don't, even if they don't win a golf tournament, if they can make it to Atlanta, they can make it to the top 30, it has been a successful year. I mean, that is hard to do. And if you make it to the top 30 each and every year of the FedEx Cup playoffs, I think – you can label that as a successful year. Sure. I mean, you're a multiple-time winner on the PGA Tour. Uh, Kiz is, too. Mm -hmm. But how important is it every time you win for reigniting that confidence? Well, as hard as it is to win, it's very important, Matt. And, and you get a player like a Kisner because he's made the comment about a Torrey Pines, about a Beth Page Black, these golf courses that are big boy ballparks that – he can go out there and he can finish 20th, and yeah, he can make a nice living finish 20th, mm -hmm. but 
when you win, it's, it's, a, it's a very special time in your professional career. You look at the opportunities that players have. You know, how many opportunities is Kiz going to have through the rest of his career? And then you look at a, a, a DeChambeau or a Justin Thomas and all these guys that have power and are very efficient and they've won major championships. How many opportunities are they going to have? They're going to have many more. And Kiz seizing the opportunity at this time was huge for him. There were others that also seized the opportunity, the opportunity being defined in this context as getting inside of the FedEx Cup playoffs. There are others that were unable to. And as you can see here, some are in and some are out. Some got it done, some didn't. And that is the context of the sound that you're about to hear as well as players explain either the deflation or the elation. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I've done what I've needed to do this week and uh, just a disappointing finish there. I kind of, I wasn't really playing for top 125 for most of the day. I was playing to try to win the golf tournament. And it's hard to know exactly what you need to do out there, but you know, you know each shot's important. Well, you know, I'm very thankful that, you know, we were able to put enough uh, points on the board this week to get into the playoffs. Um, you know, I was in a good place this week. Uh, you know, I was, I was okay with no matter where the chips fell, and I think that gave me a lot of power on the golf course, and, uh, you know, I'm just, just very, very thankful. Yeah, I'm pleased with the state of my game. I, I missed the cut last week, but I, I knew I was doing some really good things. Uh, again, nice to have a solid week here. Uh, I, feel, I feel good. I feel pleased with how I'm hitting it, how I'm putting it. I, I, I feel good about the state of my game. It was a great day. You know, it's, it's been a really tough two years. Um, I haven't felt like a lot of good has happened and, um, you know, had had some success at Congaree, but, you know, kind of that was more bitter than sweet leaving there, even though I, I finished second. Um, so just to have some good things happen today uh, with the hole-in-one and then, you know, at least giving myself an opportunity to, to work myself into New York next week, it's uh, pretty incredible. A mix of emotions and responses there from the players that were sitting on the bubble, some in and some out. Justin Rose is one that is out. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, uh, Billy, do you think that a player can measure that by how close they got in a season that otherwise was not great or by the fact that they simply did not make it into the playoffs? I think, I think Justin Rose, uh, with the career that he's had, uh, he's going to sit back. There's going to be an evaluation mm -hmm. of, of what the season was. Uh, there was um, a leaving Sean Foley. Now there's back with Sean Foley. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I think Justin will go ahead and sort this out, and I think he'll be fine for, for next year, at the start of next year, after the, the Ryder Cup. So I'm not worried about him. I was happy for Chesson Hadley. I mean, he was, he, he was kicking the can down the road at Palmetto. I mean, his chin was bouncing off his shoes leaving that place. And, and to fight back and to come up with 62 today, the hole of one, 125, uh, to send it out, the, the tweet, I was so happy for him. Uh, Sloan got it done. But, yeah, you got to feel for the guys that didn't get it done. And you look at, a, you know, guys that were right there and missed the cut, it, it was totally out of their hands at that That's point. That's true. And, to, and just to the point of Justin Rose, he did win the Payne Stewart Award this week, too, so it was all said and done. A pretty cool week for him, indeed. Thank you so much for joining us, folks.